Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new PowerMig 360 MP. So, this unit just came in. It's brand new to uh, Lincoln Electric. It uh, now is the bigger brother, or the, or the new brother to the 350 MP. Um, we were lucky enough to get our hands on a demo unit. So let's uh, give this thing a shot. So first we're gonna go through this video. We're gonna walk through all the stuff that this thing will do. Um, and then we're gonna weld with it. We're gonna try and pulse weld with it. And then we're gonna go over closing statements on what we, what we thought and how it performed. So let's flip this thing on. So right out, of the, right out of the box it came in, it came in on a pallet. Two screws and it was strapped right here to the pallet. So pretty uh, sturdy when it came in. I mean, it wasn't gonna move anywhere. Um, it comes with a MIG gun, comes with the drive roll already installed, comes with a gas regulator, and uh, it comes with your ground clamp already installed also. So as it's powering up, we got it hooked up to 230 volt. Remember, this machine will go all the way up to 575 volt and down to 208. So it's a single phase unit only. You can see we've, the screen opens up here. We're gonna go onto, we got our amperage, our wire feed speed, and we got our voltage dial here, and we got our home button. So for those of you who've watched my 330MPX uh, video, kind of resembles that screen a little bit. So we're gonna hit the home button. It's gonna take us to the this screen here, and this is our selector, and this is our back button, and then obviously the home button. So first, one manual mig so that is just if you want to hit select you push in on that if you want to just adjust your wire feed and your voltage independently of one another that's where you'd be on the in the manual mode next mode over is there uh, it's like a synergic line so we click on that select it it loads we pick steel or stainless steel what size wire we want we go through what gas we want. We're running 9010 today. And then we can pick our pulse or CV because we're running 9010, so pulse or CV. We'll pick on CV here. Quarter inch, it goes all the way up to half inch, 316. So we've got some 316 material, a little bit thinner. Click on that. Ask us our polarity just to confirm it. It's positive, always positive. And then it gives us recommended settings. So when we change our wire feed speed, we go down, notice our voltage goes down. We go up, our voltage goes up. So it's, they're now synergically moving with one another. Kind of neat, gives you uh, good recommended starts for that particular thickness of material. And also notice that our bead profile up here in the picture changes. So as I go change my wire feed speed up, my bead profile grows. And as I go down, my bead profile shrinks. So that is the arc fx that we're talking about this machine has on it so it gives you an arc or the bead profile as you change your parameters so let's hit the home button again next one over is a flux core self-shielded so we could run inner shield wire through this unit next one over here is flux core gas shielded so we could run ultra core product through this unit also Spool gun attachment, so there is a spool gun available. We'll link it down below. Push pull gun, there is a push pull gun available for this unit. Actually, there's a couple of them. We'll link those units down below too. That's for your aluminum, that sort of thing, what we're gonna run. Next one is TIG. So this thing will do DC TIG and pulse TIG. So it's pretty neat, we'll, let's select that here. So choose our tungsten diameter, so let's just Facetiously say we're gonna 332nd and then our gauge material all the way up to 5 16 We'll just do 18 gauge and then confirm our polarity, negative polarity. It gives us a recommended setting for that. Now remember, here's this on or off. That is for our remote, so it's putting power to the torch. So if it was on, you had your foot pedal hooked up, you couldn't um, you couldn't strike an arc until you turned the power on. So that kind of is a good setting for the TIG. Let's, we'll hit the home button again here. We'll bump out of. Oh, I'm sorry, you gotta shut that off. We'll hit the home button here. Go bang. All right, so the next setting in the menu is stick. So this thing also has DC output on stick. Um, you just gotta hook to the lugs inside of the machine with your stinger and your ground. Pretty simple to change it all over. Um, I've stick welded with the 350 MP. They're awesome, they stick welded really well. So a good multi-process unit 
um, and it's this one's pretty advanced so if you remember correctly and you have a 350 MP the 350 MP had toggles and switches so you had to know what code number you wanted to do so typically number 11 was straight CV MIG a lot of people use number 11 um, it's been that way forever now they've changed and they've gone to this style so it actually makes it let's say more user friendly because now we don't need to know what number we need to be in we just choose our gas material thickness and we're already ready to rock and roll pretty neat pretty uh innovative for lincoln here go back get out of the home button next one on there is the mode list and then we got load and then we have configuration so mode list load configuration those are just used for let's say memory settings um configuration is uh parameter changes that sort of thing if we go back to home it takes us back to our last process we'll go back here we'll go into the mig so one well, a couple of other features that this unit has comes in in with a uh, mig gun holder right on the side pretty neat then you can wrap your lead up put hook it right here also has a what looks to be a cup holder pencil holder and then inside a consumable bin so you put your nozzles tips diffusers that sort of thing inside there down below here on the back side if we want to just kind of flip that around it has two gas inlets so one for argon and the spool gun, right? For t so you gotta run straight argon on your TIG, and then one for your mixed shielding gas. This is the electrical hookup for linkage. You, these are you gotta manually link these to the voltage that that you're coming out of the wall. Like I said, we're running 230 volt. Comes with a chain for your cart. Another unique feature is this cart has to tilt back, it makes it much easier to get that this cylinder on the back of that cart. So. Well, you can tilt that down, roll it on, and then when it gets so far, it locks back down into place, and then you can chain it. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So let's take a look at the internals on this unit here. We'll flip it around here. The door has a nice latch switch that you pull open. So on the inside of this unit, it gives us some uh, parameter chart here process selection screens kind of gives you exactly what I just ran through on everything but uh, just gives you a good if in case you forget or have questions that sort of thing like I said this thing came in right off the cut pallet had the drive rolls installed all I had to do is flip them around for they were set up for 035 we're running 045 this is your wire tensioner came preset on I think number four there so it was already set up for steel wire has your wire guide right there pretty right out of the box i mean half hour max probably to get everything set up get your gas on and you're ready to weld so really comes in um ready to go right right now so let's shut that unit so let's give this thing a shot here we're gonna go over to uh use their synergic settings here go to mig we're gonna do steel. We got 045 wire. We got 7525 gas. And let's see, we probably got some 3 8 plate. Confirm positive polarity. All right, let's give this a shot here. so bad nice short arc so as you can see we're in the green um, these were just the recommended settings for 3 8 plate 75 25 gas with 045 wire so 250 inches a minute 22 volts pretty nice so real nice short arc um, the machine's pretty impressive I uh, I like the, the easy use on the setup uh, you, you can or you can just go straight manual too if you don't want to use all these options you can just go right back to manual and in manual mode you can adjust your wire feed 
and your voltage independently of one another um, instead of having a recommended setting in there. So, but all in all, this uh, unit, very nice. Um, welds really pretty nice. So stay tuned for more videos because we're going to get a TIG kit and we're going to stick weld with this unit. So I want to try those two options out. Um, give them a shot and see how this thing performs. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. As always, if you've got any questions, put them, post them below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching.